Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark. And today is part two of my 100 plus um, Goodwill bins, Goodwill outlets haul. I went a week ago to the Goodwill outlet with my daughter and a bunch of her friends and got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it was the most I've ever gotten. I don't have my receipt, but I'm thinking it was somewhere around 120-ish pounds. Uh, I'm going to break this down in, I'm guessing now, probably into this video. So it's be be about a four-parter, um, I think. So I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter and not inundate you with a hundred and something pounds worth of stuff at one point. So today I'm going to do um, a garbage bag and another good little outlet bag full of stuff. Hopefully have it under 30 minutes and show you guys what I got. Um, like I said in the other video, I did not get any bolos. I did not get any like major home runs. This is all just really good bread and butter. Um, a lot of it is stuff that was for winter or for fall, trying to transition into more of those kinds of clothing when I can. So we're going to get started. Also, I would let you guys know um, I'm filming from a different location, as you can see. Um, I do have a storage unit. I no longer um, keep all my inventory in my house. Um, my storage unit is a 10 foot by 27 foot storage unit, I believe, or 25. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've gotten it. So, yeah. Also, um, I'm going to try to do my first YouTube short and just do like a quick tour of my storage unit, how I have um, things stored and what have you. So if you're interested in something, just like a quick 60 second tour of how I organize and how I separate everything, stay tuned for that. And without further ado, we are going to get into the video. Ooh. All right, now I don't have my helper with me, so I will have to be looking down quite often to grab the stuff because they're sitting on the floor here in front of me. And since it's been over a week, there's a lot of this that I do not remember. Also, there's a lot of stuff about clothes I don't know. So, this is Cabby, size medium. I'm thinking this is an old tag, but I'm not sure. I do not know enough about the brand Cabby to know whether or not this is a new tag, old tag. But it was in really good condition. It is just this really super long, like, um, cardigan duster. Um, long sleeve, open knit. It does have like this button detail at the top. Like the buttons don't button anything. I, mean, I guess they button themselves, but they don't button anything in particular. They're just like a little detail. But it's just a nice white um, navy blue stripe duster. I've only had a few things of Cabby uh, from the brand, but they've all sold. So this is something else that was new to me. Um, I don't know how great it is, but they're in really good condition. And they're much larger size, so I got them. So the brand is called Liber Liberty Blues. And they are a men's size 46, 38, big. So they are just a pair of big men's blue jeans. Sorry about that lighting. I don't have a light behind me and I was trying to get the sun behind me so it wasn't glaring. But it's not perfect. Sun's starting to go down so it's going to start, I think, passing lower past my door. So as I'm going through this, I'm also trying to separate things between bottoms and tops. Um, I have to get my photo situation straightened out a little bit better. It's a lot hard. It's really hard to do or to switch between bottoms and tops and shoes and different things. I don't have a setup for like everything. So, okay, that's kind of, what is that? Okay. Well, this is Tahari. It's a size large. Let's see, was it made? I thought it was made out of something a little more substantial, but maybe. Yeah. So it's 50% merino wool, 50% acrylic. It is a Tahari brand. Let's see 
Tahari, size large. Just a blue, like, cardigan. And it's just a little fuzz. Not a stain. Then it's also got this metal thing on it. And I believe that goes to something over on the other side to close it. It's also got this hole, which I'm thinking goes, I don't have to figure it out. I'm not going to do that all on camera, but it, it's kind of funky the way it closes. But it was out of, made out of merino wool and a cardigan for fall, so I got it. This, I did get a lot of denim. So this is just a pair of men's South Pole jeans, but they were a larger size. They're men's size 48. Just a nice pair of men's South Pole jeans. I can't tell if that's seen. I don't think it is. But yeah, they're in really good condition. Then you got the back. And you got that there. So, like I said, bread and butter, much larger size. So, hoping for like 15 to 20 plus shipping. Let's see, what was this? This is a dress. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, it's a dress sleeveless, but it is new with tags. Okay, what's the brand? Just trying to keep it up so it doesn't hit the floor of my thing of my sword here. So the brand is Danny and Nicole. And it's just a nice floral spring dress. Let's see, it looks like it may have had a belt, but doesn't have the belt with it because it's got like little little tiny loops. The back of it. Let's see, it says it retailed for 74. So, even if it wasn't like great, new tags, I usually try to pick up if I see anything with new tags. This, I don't know, so I pick anything up, I see with Torrid, but again, I don't like selling skirts, but we'll see. So Torrid, size one, just a woman's red, kind of like a faux wrap. Skirts. <laughs> this is just a pair of, I don't know how to say that brand, Bowley Golf. This is a pair of size shorts. This is W40, so I don't know if that's women's 40 or if these are men's. I'm going to assume these are men's since they size 40. These are just a pair of American Eagle jeans. Let's see. They're called the Boyfriend 77. Yeah. American Eagle Boyfriend 77. Women size 12 long. They're kind of a low rise from the looks of it. The bottom hems are a little bit um, worn. Distressed, whatever you want to call them. Let's see this. I got because it's new with tags and it seems they have a pretty good sell through. So I don't know how you say that brand, but it's just like NNJXD. Just a little girl's dress. Um, let's see. Let's see what size it is. Just says 140, which I know is not a dress size. So I will just do some measurements, post it, maybe look up the brand and see. Maybe this is an overseas brand. Yeah, it normally also had a belt with the looks of it, but there isn't one. It was still cute and new with tags. So we got it. Now, normally when I go to the bins, I try to get a lot of shoes, but this time, I haven't been, I, this is my first time going to the bins in my area here in Salt Lake for over almost a year. It's been a while since I'd been. 
and they kind of redid the way they set them up and so I didn't really see a whole lot of bins with shoes or hard goods it was probably 90% clothes very few hard goods in this Goodwill bins and so yeah this this time around I only got two pairs of shoes which I normally do way more than that so these are just a pair of ortho heel or ortho ortho heel and they're just a pair of sandals flip-flops whatever you want to call them but they're in really good condition they're pretty clean so i got those you know, these were a pair of golf shoes they're adidas i believe they're women's the way they look so just a pair of women's adidas golf shoes pretty clean on the bottom for for golf shoes <coughs> and they are ooh, kind of small i forget they were small so size six and a half golf shoes So that's one bag down. On to the next one. All right, 11 minutes and we're good, doing good. All right, is this what I think it is? Yes. So my daughter and her friends are playing a game. We're gonna have a little bit of story time. <coughs> Here we go. So they were playing a game where they were digging into the bins into the very bottom of the bins where a lot of people don't go. And they were just grabbing stuff and pulling it out to see what they get. So they're playing this game, and my daughter found me two good things while doing it. So she pulled this out. As soon as I saw the logo on it, I grabbed it from her and told her mine. So I knew A, it was a men's. B, she wouldn't want it, but it was really good. This is a brand I'd love to sell. So it is Mountain Hardware, and it is a quarter zip or half zip jacket uh, it's hooded and the hood kind of has like a bill on the front so it's a little overhang like that it's got this back detail on there it's got more of the hardware logo down there more on the sleeve here and then the sleeve here at the end but yeah, this is really good. I will get probably between $30 and $40 for that. So, and you'll see it later, but she also found me a leather jacket. So I don't know if that's in this bag or not, but you'll see it eventually. This, I didn't look up. I just thought it was neat. I don't know if it's good or not, but whatever. So it is a Marvel's size extra large. Hoodie, full zip, Deadpool, Marvel Deadpool hoodie. Full zip, kangaroo pockets, long sleeve, extra large. So I had to have it. Let's see, what was this? Was this the, oh yeah. And again, this here, I don't know if it will sell or not, but it is a woman's. Columbia, size medium, just a mock neck. Actually, no, it's not even a mock neck. It's a full turtleneck. Turtleneck sweater. In good condition. Let's see. Cotton, acrylic, hand wash. So, yeah, I like that. Columbia doesn't do really great anymore, but it will still sell if you price it correctly. And that's, just, that's the name of the game, is all of this stuff will sell. All of it is good brands, good condition. Some of them have a better resale value than others. And as long as you price them in their perspective price range, they will sell. This, I'm not sure if this is Wine in Valley or Vine in Valley. If any of you have ever seen this, let me know because I have not. So it's a size small and it's just a nice like off the shoulder dress. 
I honestly actually don't even know how this made it in my cart because I don't know anything about that brand and I don't remember ever looking it up. Stuff happens. Sometimes you are at the bins and things just end up in there and you have no idea how or why. So this is a pair of Eddie Bauer, size four, women's, not, they're not really a snow pant, they're like a cargo pant, but they're lined. So, they need washed, but they don't come out. But yeah, so they're lined, but they're not like a thick like snow pant, so they're just a nice lined cargo Cargo hiking pant, side zipper pockets, all black. So, those will definitely sell. And this is, a, I don't normally pick up kids' items either, but if they are a decent brand, I will pick them up. So, this is a boys Columbia, size extra, extra small. Just like a windbreaker, the zip up jacket. So it's got a little bit of something, something there, but that should come out in the wash. No issues there, so that's good. So actually, I'm gonna put these, the two things that definitely need washed over in their own separate bag or box. Let's see what, this, oh, okay. This, I know it's a good brand. I've only had this shirt once. It did sell. It took a while to sell, but it is Shaped Fit Bugatti. I think that's how you pronounce that. So it's just a Bugatti Shape Fit. Um, I don't see a size tag on this anywhere, but it is just a nice men's button up dress shirt. It's got some. Detail along there. It's got the floral cuffs as well. So, yeah, it's recently been dry cleaned. Let's see if I see a size down here anywhere. 100% cotton, machine wash. Yeah, no, no size anywhere down there. So, I'll just put measurements. When I list it. Let's see. And this is a Lucy is the brand. And it looks like it's a quarter zip. Women's quarter zip Lucy hoodie. And let's see, let's see what size it is. It looks like it's missing the drawstring in the hood. And size medium. So still good condition. Oh my nose started really bothering me. This is a brand that every single time I've ever bought it is sold within a few weeks. I do not know where it's sold. I do not know. I've never sold a skirt by them. But it is just like a nice green skirt because it does have the Shorts, shorts on the inside, but the brand, if you guys are all curious, is called Quacker Factory, and it is just a size small. Now, hopefully this will sell also. Everything I've had has been usually a plus size in this. It does have like a little like rhinestone detail on the pockets. And just a nice skirt with a couple pockets on the side. Probably like a golf type skirt, if I had to guess. Okay, this is another, I think it's a dress. I did look up comps on this, so it was actually better than I expected. So it is a woman's Eddie Bauer, size medium, 100% cotton. I'm pretty sure that when I looked it up, it's a vintage. But it is just a pink woman's Eddie Bauer full button, button all the way down, like a denim material dress. And then the back, it's got like an elastic stretchy waist, 
I'm going to say it's 100% cotton, right? Yeah, 100% cotton. This nice pink full button dress with pockets. Alright, we are getting down to the bottom. Let's see how you put this in my lap so I'm not bending over constantly showing you guys the top of my head. This is just a Joy Lab. And it's not the best brand, but you know what? That's not gonna work. But it's just a Joy Lab. Full zip. Buddy. Let's see what size. Size large. Headed with pockets. Is it zip pockets or no? No. And then she the little logo over there. This I got, I don't know if... Oh, it's good. I just saw it, threw it in. It's an NFL Reebok. Um, let's see. I don't see a size. It says 54. I don't know if that means anything. But it's NFL Reebok. Says NFL equipment, and it's just this jersey. You got Eagles, number 36, and then on the back it says Westbrook. Is that Westbrook? Yeah, Westbrook. And it's just this big hoodie, or not hoodie, jersey. With the sleeves. Let's see, can I see anywhere where it says an actual size? I don't think there is. So it says 54 on the tag. I don't know what that means. It's definitely bigger. But I can definitely smell it's got a little bit of a little bit of a smell to it, so we're gonna throw that in the wash. A few more items. I got more skirts than I normally do, but this is called Melissa McCarthy by seven. So it's like a collab between Seven Jeans and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, McCarthy is a size extra large. It's a very heavy um, skirt with this print. The skirt on the inside is kind of like lined with a tool, so it's a little bit more like poofy. Mm stretchy waistband so from when I looked these up they were there's not a whole lot of them on there but there's decent solds so I picked it up now this is weird hopefully this is good I don't know so this is true religion jeans size 34 made in China but it's got this big I don't know if they all have this or not Let's see. The Billy Super T. There's a big giant thing on the back of it. It's true religion. Yeah. Size. It says row 34, seat 33. So I don't know if that's a thing they do. Then you got the back pockets that have the bling, which of course some of the bling is actually definitely missing. The buttons are there, so that's good. Then in the front, you got all these, you got a big button there, all these larger than normal buttons on there. And it's full pair of jeans. So yeah, I just knew True Religion is a decent brand and I did not look those up at all before I bought them. Let's see, I think we have just one more item, guys. Oh nope, I lied. Multiple items, so just all the small A's at the bottom. So I love picking up bras. And this is a brand I do not know, but it was in really good condition. So I just got it called Delamira. Delamira. Let's see, let's see what size it is. Let's see, 40 double, no, US is, yeah, 40 double D. 
and it's just this nice pretty lace bra no padding with underwire so hopefully that'll sell for decent and then this is a Nike dry fit size medium tank top with a large swoosh across the whole front this is dry fit on the bottom just a size medium so I don't know if that's a woman's or a men's but we'll figure it out He has a code down here, so I don't know if any of you guys know the question or answer to this question. I know Nike shoes have a code in them that you can type in and you can look up any of the shoes. Do you guys know if their clothing has the same thing? Because this one has a, has a tag with a with a long number on it. So it definitely def looks different than what's in the shoes. But I don't know if that will bring up the shirt or not. And then this is an Adidas running um, Supernova size medium. Just a t-shirt, Adidas on the front, Supernova. And it's got those like stripey things on the side. Yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. So that is everything in the haul for today. I will be keeping track of how many items there are so I can give you a total cost of goods at the end. Again, I will be doing a little tour of a YouTube short for my storage area here. And be doing that, probably releasing both of those tomorrow, today's Sunday. So on Monday, those will both come out. If you guys like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. Um, like this video because it really helps me out. It's free for you guys to do. Also, thank you to all of you who have subscribed recently. I am now over my 200, which was my goal for the end of the year. I'm already at it here in the very end of September. So my goal for the rest of the year is 250. <laughs> I do not make big, gigantic goals. Small goals, so I can reach them. So, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you guys who are watching and who are coming here. Um, I also will have later in the week, or near the end of the week, hopefully we'll have a America's Thrift Supply unboxing box for you guys again. I was able to get one of those on Friday, so the, hopefully that will be later on this week. And I will talk to you guys later, have lots of great sales, get some stuff done in your business, and I will talk to you guys next week.